Love and tolerate. This is Ian getting it in with an unboxing. I wanted to make this video as a response to Adam Koralik's solution to playing a Sega Dreamcast on an HDMI monitor by using a VGA to HDMI converter. The device he has, the Atlona ATHD View, only works in NTSC or North American territories, but he has mentioned the existence of an international version. This is one of said international versions. Enter the ATHD 510 VGA, also made by Atlona. This does what the ATHD view does, only it extends the compatibility to scaling its HDMI output to European and Australian PAL frame rates, i.e. 50 Hz as opposed to 60 Hz. Now, I should disclose that even though I'm making this as a response to Adam Koralik's Keep Dreaming episode, as of the time I'm making this video, I myself do not own a Sega Dreamcast, let alone the necessary VGA adapter for its highest end video output. Getting the console is definitely on my to-do list, but in the meantime, I could also use the ATHD 510 VGA with mainly older computers that do not offer HDMI output, or with my nephew's Xbox 360, which is an old non-HDMI model. The setup should be pretty self-explanatory. Take your VGA and your audio from either stereo or Toslink and output through HDMI with extra audio outputs. It can also output DVI digital video provided you use an HDMI to DVI cable or adapter. In addition to taking in VGA signals, the HD 510 can also take in component YPBPR, or as I'd like to call them, the Yipper signals. However, using that requires special cables and adapters to go from the three RCA leads to the same D sub 15 pin connection the VGA uses. Inside the box, the first thing I see is a slip of paper basically telling me to call it Lona first for tech support. If yo shiz don't work, call them, don't call me. The user manual is pretty short. Hopefully my camera can scan through all of the TLDR. This thing takes in a variety of different resolutions, both computer up to WUXGA and television up to 1080p, and scales it up or down to the user's preference via its own on-screen firmware with the menu buttons on the box. Upscaling or downscaling is important for grabbing video using a capture card since those only accept typical SDTV, EDTV, or HDTV resolutions. I tried feeding my capture card setup with computer resolutions such as WSXGA, SXGA, or even VGA 640 x 480 and even though it's supposed to be the same as 720 x 480 progressive scan, it still spazzes out. In addition to scaling the HDMI output, there are options to change contrast, brightness, hue, saturation, sharpness, or levels of red, blue, and green. This is also controlled within the firmware using the menu buttons on the box. Think of it as onboard color correction settings, if you will. The firmware also allows positioning of its own on-screen display, audio input whether it's analog stereo or digital Toslink, and could even show pertinent information such as input sources resolution, audio input, output scaled resolution, and firmware version. I doubt there are firmware upgrades available through Atlona, or even needed unless we for some god-awful reason want to go beyond 1080p. The HD 510 has a loop out for the VGA. Bear in mind, it doesn't output any scaled image that would be seen through the HDMI signal. It's an optional output for the user to hook up a local monitor. It would make sense if, for example, you wanted to give a presentation off of a desktop computer on an HDTV for the audience, and use a regular monitor to see what you're doing without turning your head or something. Dreamcast or Xbox 360 users, the VGA loopout is an option to play in its native resolution on VGA while using the HDMI as a second output. This is especially useful for people who use a Hophog HDPVR2, Elgato Game Capture HD, Blackmagic Intensity, or whatever. That's one thing I'm thinking of doing with this. 
Since I don't have access to either of those consoles at this moment, the only thing I have or could have tried this on is a computer too old to handle Camtasia or Fraps. One thing I should address is the price of this bad boy. Adam Kralik got his HD view for $90, which was considered a bargain, term used loosely. I got my HD 510 at an eBay auction, also at a bargain, term used loosely, for more than twice that. This thing retails on Amazon for about, if not over, $300. Hell, for the price I paid for the VGA to HDMI scaler, I could have instead bought myself a Dreamcast with a VGA adapter, but be stuck without any means to capture its sweet sweet gaming footage. I should mention the existence of another VGA to HDMI international scaler at Lona Makes that goes somewhere in between the View and the 510. The 500 does basically the same thing, only it doesn't deal with component video and has no extra local monitor output. It's still more expensive than the HD view, but the option is also there for gamers with a Dreamcast and or an Xbox 360 without HDMI. The power supply is your standard wall plug adapter, which I freaking hate because it takes up space on a surge protector. Since I bought this somewhat used, or because I live in the United States or for whatever reason, I did not get the international power plug adapters. Foreign users may have those included should they order it, and I believe Atlona also sells USB power cords compatible with this. The HD 510 box itself has a sturdy aluminum build, or aluminum if that's how you want to pronounce it. Everything is labeled nicely. One thing that differentiates its appearance from the HD view is that the cables do not come attached. The HD view has its cords pigtailing out of its box looking like Ron Autome. Maybe if I splash it with some cold water, it'll turn into a hot chick instead of shorting out. The outputs include HDMI and the two audio. It should be noted that regardless of what audio input is used, all three audio outputs, the stereo, the Toslink, and the HDMI can be used at the same time. As I mentioned before, with the proper lead adapter, the HDMI out can also function as DVI video only. This weird looking cable is a D-sub 15 pin male to 3 RCA green blue red male. The common misnomer would be VGA to component cable. And before anyone asks the quintessential stupid question, no, no, no. This cable alone does not simply convert a VGA signal to a Yipper component signal. It don't just magic. The HD510 converts either VGA or component to HDMI but it uses the same 15 pin connection to save space instead of making the damn thing a little bigger to include RCA component jacks. It's nice of Atlona also including a stereo headphone to red and white RCA cable and a regular VGA cable, but strangely absent would be a Toslink cable and especially an HDMI cable to use with this thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Or if not, at least felt more informed and edumacated. Please subscribe and share my channel on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, at Inuyasha. Continue to stalk me on Tumblr and Pinterest. Love and peace. This is Ian getting out.